So we haven't done a video on this system in a long time. And I even don't have the recording software set up to the new way we've been doing presentations lately. Or a webcam on it. But I've been working on a project and I actually started out on this system. Because it was easier to find directions on. And necessarily I've been able to do that. Here I found some fairly good directions. But since I spent quite a few hours looking for directions that I found acceptable or even understandable, I want to go ahead and create a video for you guys, even though it's not about virtualization, to help try to clarify things. As I'm probably going to be working on some Node MCU projects here for a little bit because I have a few things that I want to try out on them. And I want to see how well this all works on YouTube, and I might add it to the channel's content. I know it's not virtualization, and I know it's not Proxmox related, which is what most of you are here from. But it's a project that's been interesting me lately, and I would like to be able to share it. Please comment below if you feel it doesn't belong here, and maybe I'll move it to a different channel. It is electronics related, so it's probably within the interest of you guys. At least I'm hope, because I'd like to share this here. So anyways, looking at the directions here, we're going to need a few different things. The first one is an ESP8266, which I already have here, and I'll show you how to get that into flash mode here in a second. We're going to need to do that. You may end up needing a serial driver. I did not. I don't know if you're going to need one, or and maybe I put one on my system at an earlier date. I'm not entirely sure. So if I admit that step, I'm sorry. So the next thing you're going to need to do is download some software. So the software that you're going to need is going to be the MicroPython framework, and I'll show you where to get that in a second. And then we're going to download this Node MCU Pi Flasher, which uses some of the tools that came with, with MicroPython, like the ESP Flash tool and the WZ Python graphics library. Okay, so let's go off and look at where to get these, because this tutorial doesn't actually make it too clear where to get this software, which is rather annoying. So the first thing I did was to get the Python Flash tool, which you can see here is available for Mac, and we'll be doing a video probably on that later. At least I would like to, but I am not doing it today. So we can go off and we get it from GitHub by searching this right here. I'll try to provide a link in this description or comments below so that you guys can find your way here without having to search like I did. The next thing you're going to need to do is search for MicroPython and then go to Downloads. At Downloads, we're going to go click on the ESP8266 and scroll down. We've got three options. And hopefully you've paid attention when you bought your ESP8266 and you know how much flash RAM you need. Mine is 4 megs, so I'm going to use the 2 meg plus flash image. We can click on that and we're going to download the latest version. All right, I already have the latest version here on my desktop, but let's go off and grab that. And you can see that my system's added the one to it, so it's identical to the one here. So actually, let's get rid of this, and we'll move the new one over. That way we can use it. All right, so now we need to put our ESP8266 into flash mode. So hopefully it's easy enough to tell here, but in order to put the Node MCU ESP8266 into flash mode, we're going to have to hold the flash button while we plug our USB cable in. Here's our USB cable, and here at the tip of my thumb next to the USB plug, you see the flash button. So what we're going to do is try to stabilize this chip, hold that button, and then plug in the power. That's going to put us into flash mode so we can load the MicroPython framework onto this 8266 and begin using it with MicroPython. With our ES... P8266 now into flash mode we can open the node MCU tool which happened to open on my other screen I'm sorry about that. And the first thing I'm going to do is select auto. I do know it's COM3, but some of you may not know. So let's select auto. Then we're going to hit browse and we're going to go to our desktop and we're going to download the 8266 image that we moved. And then we can just press flash node MCU. All right, so the Node MCU should now be flashed with, with the MicroPython framework so we can start using it. But we need to do a couple more things before we can use PuTTY to establish a serial connection and start communicating with our Node MCU. And although I don't have a B-roll for this, you're just going to take your power cord, unplug it, and plug it back in without holding the flash button this time. Then 
We're gonna open putty and we're gonna crack this cereal and we're gonna tune this to 1152 and we know it's COM3 so we're gonna set COM3 and then we can press open and here we go. We're now able to establish a serial connection and start talking to our Node MCU. I hope you found this video educational and you're able to start using your Node MCU for various projects. As always, have a good night.